Okay, that, oh, evening. Okay, evening underscore FE. That's okay, we got five, six and evening. All right, let's see. We got Yoshi on the screen. That is, okay, there we go. All right, starts out with the back air. Probably the, the godsend move for DK in this game, honestly. Like that move alone could jump DK up a couple of tiers. All right, he got the pressure with the grounded spinning Kong. Yoshi's just trying to navigate around right now, but both of these two are mostly melee characters. We do have the, the egg toss that can definitely help a little bit. And I think we saw right there what happened was that uh, he went nowhere after the up air because um, Yoshi's double jump armor is subtractive, so it'll make the result of the knockback after a certain, certain threshold. I don't know the exact number, but... Here we go. Forward throw. Oh, yeah, yeah, that barely does it, actually. I thought he was going to go for a cargo throw down throw, maybe. Get him on, a, like, a bad angle, try to go for an edge guard. Not quite what happened here today, but 5-6 is going to take a pretty early lead, actually. Hasn't been touched yet, and a fully charged punch on deck. Going to have the armor to be able to suppress a lot of different aggressive options from Yoshi's. I mean, like, what's the meme here? That Yoshi likes to press buttons, so you can definitely get through a lot of that. All right, here's a big combo, potentially. Yeah, going to pick him up again. Reads the air dodge, very nice. Or reacted to it off of a great situation. Just going to pick him up, juggle him three times. And I like that last mix up there. Five, six, decide to keep things going. Oh, and very nice, of course. You do the turnaround, slip, down, throw back. If you do uh, a different variation of that, they have more uh, opportunity to tech and then tech ball bounce, come back to the stage and hit DK, but the turnaround slip down throw makes it so that the DK will be able to act first. So very nice stuff. Alrighty. Throwing out the throwing out the eggs one more time. Gonna try to land. Okay, DK not quite fast enough to be able to catch Yoshi here. Falling up air, be able to make it back. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that was a sick parry there. And he's able to convert that all the way to go. I don't even know if Evening tried to parry there or he just got lucky, but I think we should give him credit. We'll, we'll give him credit there. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Have a little faith in Yoshi main. Oh wow, the hate already coming out. I mean, five six. He has nothing to fear right now. He's on a fresh second stock. Evening already pushing on his last one here. Not too many things that he can do. So. I'm glad that 5-6 is taking advantage of the situation. He doesn't have to play safe. He can go a little bit more aggressive, go more aggro. Shield grab, but he crosses him up. Very nice from Evening. That was a very sketchy situation. Didn't know where he was going to end up being. Yeah, Yo the Yoshi here is throwing out a lot of these uh, standing eggs, which has a lot of lag, but uh, right now, uh, 50... What is that name? 5-6. <laughs> 5-6. Five, six. Five, six. <laughs> yeah. Five, six is, uh, is having trouble getting in on him, it seems like. But uh, those up smash is so huge. He's kind of hoping that Yoshi would just uh, run right into it. That was so weird. You just saw the egg grew to the size of DK. It was really weird. But there we go. Back throw. It does send them upward. So that is a very great option to be able to utilize on the platform there. Pokemon Stadium 2, also one of the lowest ceilings in our legal set. I believe the lowest ceiling, but I have to double check that fact. But there we go. 5-6 takes one on the board. Looking really solid so far. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, he's got to be feeling a little better about this next set, the, the way he was able to sort of bring that back a little bit. Uh, but he does have quite the hill to climb, and he's really only able to take one stock that entire game. Sometimes it kind of clicks for your, uh, for you towards the end of the set, though. You just kind of figure out what you need to be doing. And uh, we may see some adaption here. Yeah, all right, we're switching to the pink Yoshi. That was obviously the only reason why he lost that last game was because he was playing light blue Yoshi, which is obviously the worst one of the bunch. So yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's a lie. It's the, the weird yarn. One. Yeah, I, I think he must be trying to confuse him here with the double, because he went for the pink uh, oh. <laughs> Donkey Kong, like maybe some friendly fire or uh, something going on. Nah, man, just uh, feeling the the pink today. All right, there we go. Back air. That was an unfortunate uh, direction. Oh, actually, yeah, he made it, make it back. Okay, back. okay, he's fine. Yoshi's jumping huge. <laughs> yeah. It's huge. 5-6 doing an amazing job on the ledge trap here, though. Making Yoshi think that he has enough space to come back to the stage and then just says, oh, boom. Gonna burst option here with a dash attack. Keep things going. Long-lasting hitbox, too, at the ledge, so it can catch a lot of get-up tools as well. Nice stuff from 5-6, but he's gonna get juggled. But, I mean, that's DK in a nutshell. He's a big big body, so he's gonna get juggled a lot. Yeah, Donkey Kong has a lot of huge tilts, huge uh, smash attacks. Mm -hmm. But uh, once you get in on him, especially with a character like Yoshi that has all this area drift, you can just chase him everywhere. Yeah. And what 
uh, Evening really wants to do here is to just get 56 in the air. Uh, he had the trip there, didn't quite get the confirm. Of course, it is random if down tilt will lead to a trip confirm. In early percents, it's minus on hit, so you have to be able to react to it. Well, let's see. Okay, gets right around him. Ooh, oh, and slaps him on the ground. Double. But he is going to make it back. Yeah, he's still alive. Not going to be susceptible to up tilt kills very soon. Oh, and that was an opportunity for a jab reset. Wasn't quite confident, decided to go for tech chase read instead. Not quite getting it either, though. I like that roll, that egg roll on the platform there, and rolling it down there on him, mm -hmm. kind of trying to catch him off guard, but didn't work on 56. Nice parry on the egg, just be able to continue his stage control a little bit longer. Yeah, 5-6 knows he only needs like one good hit, so he's not really trying to push anything too hard. He's trying to find the right option. Can I get clipped by an up air, but he's still in this. Never mind. Can I hit by down, down smash, it looks like. Yeah, I was going to say that the evening really needed to make something happen. Well. Uh, 56 was in the air there. He was behind, and uh, that's really where, again, Donkey Kong struggles in this matchup. Yeah, when he's uh, above Yoshi. Mm -hmm. All right, 5-6 starting. To, gotta get careful. He's thrown out like two random smash attacks, and that led to 65% and a stock earlier today. So we're gonna have to see a little bit more composure because already Evening is bringing this back to an even game. Tech in place. That's fine. Ground is spinning Kong. That'll get the kill. That will kill. Yeah. Yeah. Yoshi heavy, but not heavy enough to survive that. Okay, it spaces out the get-up attack. If he went for a F smash there, I think that would have taken the stock. But just wanted to play at low risk there, I guess. Alrighty, what's he gonna do here? The star clips him. Yeah, th this is what I'm talking about. Is even or five six? There are moments of brilliance that come from his play, and then there are moments like that where it's just like random F smash at 22%. That's not really gonna do anything except to maybe like tilt your opponent. But the risk reward was <laughs> just not there. He got it bad situation, then he was juggled, then he was taken off the top. Like, there are so many things that he could have done differently in that specific scenario. Yeah. And with a character like DK, you can't risk those random moments unless you know you have a very large lead. That's right. I want to take it back a little bit, though. That uh, that up tilt confirmed that uh, Evening got there. He actually needed the very end of that hitbox. Uh, otherwise, you don't have enough time to get that up air. So it's a really tight window. So that was impressive he was able to get it. Mm -hmm. All right, four tilt chase. Takes him up. All right, Both slams spike. him down. Oh. Yeah, not a lot of hits done on those spikes in this game. Mm -hmm. yeah, you can get punished. Oh, Ooh. goes for the jab block, but that's just a up. Yeah, that was a very nice attempt, like the drag down bear into jab block, but not quite there. Five, oh. six. Now he's got himself some control here. Now he's just got to be able to just seal the deal. Oh, Gonna yeah, mash out. Kong. Not oh. in time. Oh, he oh, gets yeah, he the foot still, yeah, still yeah, yeah. there, allowing him to survive. If uh, Evening had just waited, he, he actually would have died. He gave... Yeah, see, now he's not going to oh be able yeah. to make it That back. was unfortunate, yeah. It, that shows that 5-6 is one of those mashers that presses all the buttons rather than yeah. twirling around the stick. Twirling around the stick, he would have had enough time to uh, come back up and he wouldn't have accidentally mashed uh, side B. So that's unfortunate. That's just uh, kind of a habit thing. Sometimes in certain situations, you want to use one tactic over the other. Although I do believe that using the face buttons, if you do it right, you'll get more inputs uh, per second than with spinning the stick around. But there we go. The pink color, like I said, was the exact reason why he lost that first game. Now he's switching it again to yellow. He's like, okay, got to shed my skin one more time. Here we go. Going game I, three. I don't know if I like this color pick here coming in from evening. Pink is clearly shown to be a color that he can do some damage with. So just to throw out yellow here is very risky for him. Okay, here we go. Back in neutral, Evening trying to get something started. Yeah, there, there's some, uh, it looked like a blind spot in where 5-6 uh, would have thrown a hitbox. I guess up till would have been the best option, but he thought that he could space it back far enough. Yeah, I'd like to see a little more trying to catch, uh, of 5-6 uh, try to catch um, Evening's landings here. He's just really just going up there with those up airs and he isn't really finding anything. Uh, if he went for the up tilts or something, a bigger hitbox that Donkey Kong has, I think he'd find some more success. Yeah, okay, there we go. Finally finds a pivot F smash. He's been fishing for that for a lot. I, I would hope that he would get it eventually. But here we go. Got himself control at the edge again. Oh, and yeah, just uh, missing the tech on the platform, that always leads to so much damage. Yeah, lucky that uh, Evening's punish game is not a little more refined because he could have taken some serious damage there. All right. Try to follow up with another uh, mash out, get the dare and follow up with something. Not quite. No edge guard that time. Gives himself some control. Okay, yeah. 5-6 is going to dash attack. 
First Donkey back Kong's in. recovery is so linear, you really need to be out there just kind of getting it, making it difficult for him. What's 5 6 going to do? Okay. I want to say that was probably a forward smash, but we'll take it. Yeah, and he. Being a little bit stubborn, trying to find that kill on the ledge. I feel like if he just waited patiently, got a back air, but that was very nice. Okay, B reverse and fully charge punch. That's going to be able to do it. one of those uh, KO punches or the Congo punches. Congo punches? What are they called? I think uh, I think it's called giant punch, giant to, punch, like the official game says, but we'll just call it the punch. <laughs> right when it counts, though. And he throws out another one there. I think that would have killed it. I think uh, he's starting to get himself a little bit of confidence back after that. Maybe feeling a little bit more confident. Now he doesn't feel as uh, hesitant when he's trying to throw on something or like trying to fish. Now he's uh, got a little bit more control. Even yeah. trying to figure out how to start this next uh, exchange here. I mean, this can be so stressful when you're playing a character like Yoshi where maybe openings are a little difficult to find and uh, you know your opponent just keeps living. Um, and you are falling further and further behind like that, from that dash attack right there. And you can't find that kill. So Evening really needs to make something happen because this game is shutting for him. Okay, Nair out of shield. Still not enough to do it. But he should be able to get this edge guard. Oh, no. Ups just go with those eggs. Okay, there we go. Pulls it back off stage again. Evening just having a hard time finding the right answer. Like he's getting the damage, but he doesn't quite seal it out. But I mean, the same thing can be said for Evening. Like he's already got a DK to 240. Yeah, these eggs aren't really going to do much at this point. Yeah, he needs something like that. That up air, giving some life back into Evening here. All right, let's see what 5 6 does. A little bit hesitant. I, I understand he's, he, he's potential combo food in the beginning. Wanted to wait for Evening to press the button, but it didn't quite happen there. Yeah, he's trying to find that back air. But there we go. Card throw, forward throw. Just Still not enough to do live, it. Yeah. Probably one more of those, maybe like a back throw if he's on the oh, platform. Yeah, another grab. Just and goes for it again. Gone. Yeah, there we go. Up a whole stock. Let's see if 5-6 uh, can try and close this out here. Oh. Yeah. Evening is just kind of, he's thrown out a lot of hitboxes when 5-X um, just puts out his shield and he's getting punished for it. Mm -hmm. I mean, Yoshi doesn't have a lot he can do there in terms of, like, I mean, he's got... I mean, I guess I would like to see some down Bs come out from him. Try to get that shield break and get that stock, because he really needs it. And that spike Ooh. coming out is exactly what he needed as well. Yeah. And 5-6 was recovering high the past couple of times, so I think he decided to take a gamble there. I think that's something that Evening needs to do a little bit more. Even when he finally wins a neutral exchange, he sometimes does not take it as far as he could. But sometimes you have to commit to that, and sometimes players uh, aren't ready to do that yet because you see there's a lot of times where he gets a tech chase situation he can do a jab check that if he gets okay slip him off all right he's gonna still be able to survive that oh just barely got the shield up just in time back throw yes yeah. that'll do it well, i was wanted to say before i think the the main thing was that evening when he had opportunities like say tech chase jab lock he didn't quite go for the jab lock he didn't even go for a single jab 